Every so often this little box is in my way so I have to move it and every time I do I end up filming a video. Today's no different. It was in my way and just, I don't know, something about the rainbow layout, it just inspires me. I use them very rarely just to label things so it doesn't really make sense to hold on to them. But you know what, we're, we're diving in. We're gonna make some art with them. I have three different types of Sharpies. I have the ultra fine point, fine point, and then some fabric brush markers. I used to have a wide black one. Bye! I found it. That's a chisel tip Sharpie from uh, the early 2000s probably. It feels really light so it's probably a... And I also found purple ones that I actually use more regularly. Anyway, like I mentioned, I'm kind of inspired by the arrangement of the colors. So why don't I try and use one patch at a time? So let's start with the pinks. I've got two of this really light pink, two of these, two of these, this and that. And for our concept, I'm thinking along the lines of princess. But hear me out. Princess is not exactly new and exciting here. But I have this one skirt that ends like right at my knee. And whenever I wear it, I just, it's a little short for a princess skirt, but I feel like a princess. And it makes me think maybe there's some way to dress like that on a day-to-day -day basis. So instead of just drawing straight up like princessy designs, why not try and normalize them and bring them into like something that could be more regularly seen in society, but also has a stays, okay? I really want to draw stays. So that's what I'm gonna do. How many times am I gonna pick up and drop these markers? The world may never know. Basically like princess bounding, cause it's sort of like historical bounding, but it's more inspired by like the way Disney princesses are designed so that they can, you know, go on adventures and stuff like that. History bounding kind of takes a historical outfit, you know, kind of like that sort of thing. And they sort of just tone it down so that you can wear it and still function. <laughs> Basically, they keep the best parts of historical gowns and the knowledge that you can gain from studying them and apply them with newer techniques and and less restrictive sizes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So it usually kind of comes down to like shortening skirts and sleeves and things like that. If you're interested in the topic, go look up some people that actually know what they're talking about. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> but basically I want to do that, but then also harness a little bit of that like Disney magic. And in the end, come up with something that like I would really like to wear. One of the most inspiring parts to me is the stays. I just love the texture of it. And I was recently laughing at myself because I used to draw corsets all the time. Um, but uh, you know what? It won me over again. I have a very specific look that I like. I don't like the ones that go like under the boobs or anything. That just, it's all about it. I just, it's, not, it's not my style. I like the ones that kind of come up here. I think it's more early 18th century is the style I'm talking about. And like sometimes they have little extra bits. My goal here isn't historical accuracy, but something that I would love to wear, I guess, is the, uh, the plan. If I had the guts, you know, <laughs> to not wear jeans and a t-shirt out of the house. Basically my skirt, if this is the knee, my skirt ends like right here. And it's a skirt I actually made myself, so I double feel proud when I walk out the house. <laughs> and it's been forever since I've made any of my own clothes and I wanna get back on that. I like the ones with the lace up fronts too, but I'm open to other suggestions. And basically when I mentioned like Disney princesses, basically a team of Disney designers have sat down and done what I like. <laughs> Taken history, finagled a little bit of modern, and then come out with like a nice cohesive design. So it's kind of what I'm talking about. So basically I'm taking both the work that's already been done and has inspired me and kind of like just stealing it, you know? It's so like one thing Disney has done is they've taken like these large poofs that are more historically accurate, you know, like big, big poofs and they've shrunken them down to just like shoulder size so that that gives our heroine more mobility so she can save herself. I'm thinking I do want to pull the skirt down a little bit and that I think I'd be okay with. I'd feel comfortable in that. But like another option would be to just like go mini skirt and like, let me see. Let me see what I'm thinking. So basically you got the character, another way to like just modernize it and pull it a little bit away from even like the Disney princess idea would be to kind of give it maybe a cropped stays, give it some normal stretch maybe maybe buttons instead of laces maybe shorten the skirt you know what would be kind of cute adding like it's kind of like wheels a skirt it's got like a pleat here like the princess seams continue down <gasps> make sure we give it princess seams oh yeah 
We don't wanna go like full gathered skirt cause that's just gonna have too much fabric. And if the wind blows, you know what's gonna happen, okay? <laughs> so this would be a nice summer sort of outfit. And we can go with some classic Disney flats. <laughs> so maybe we'll pull a little bit more of this into it and add the lace. Another cute thing to add would be like a little shirt, the little poofs on it to go underneath. And then that kind of brings it into more of like a stays corset. We'll still keep it kind of cropped. I just like a little tiny bit of skin, just a little, little something like that. Not too much. I think what really takes it from being inspired from like peasant gowns of the 18th century to princess gowns is like embroidery and stuff. And obviously like the fabrics that you choose will make a big difference too. Oh man, I want a fashion line now. <laughs> and then if you're gonna be actually historically accurate, they would have a shirt that goes over the stays. I don't remember what that's called. Cause it's technically their underwear. Skipping that step. <laughs> And I think it would be cute because back in the day they wore basically little purses that were pockets right about here. And then the skirt was tied around in two sections and you tie it up here. And then they could reach between the two sections and get into the pocket. But why don't we just make a little pocket that we tie ourselves that can just sit on the top. That way we don't have to worry about carrying a purse or anything. And it gives us pockets or we can obviously just give the skirt pockets. That's so easy. I literally taught myself to sew to add pockets to things. It's pretty simple. You could do it. I have faith in you. But yeah, basically this would be like a really well embroidered pocket because they wear it every day. I like this. I would totally wear this out of the house right now. <laughs> but I think I will elongate the skirt a bit just cause that's kind of more what I'm looking for right now. Not only to draw, but like if I was gonna make the skirt. Oh, but now it just looks too Rapunzel-y. <gasps> Maybe I just need to reevaluate why I'm uncomfortable with wearing something that maybe will look like a costume. Maybe it comes down to the colors, but obviously I'm gonna be using pink right now, so that's not something I'm gonna play with. But if you go with more neutral colors, it'll look like a more neutral outfit. Also, I gotta keep in mind Rapunzel's outfit like goes down to here, so. I'm still shortening it. <laughs> For the actual one, we're gonna start actually using the Sharpies, <laughs> like I set out here to do. I got a little distracted. I want to do it with like outliner and kind of a flat look. See how this outfit would look in action. You're not gonna end up seeing much of these legs, but they should help when I'm trying to create the flow of the skirt. Got a crop top, but not too crop. Hmm, deliumptious. Start over with the skirt, I think. We're, we're just gonna, we're just simplifying this a lot. <laughs> I just wanna color it at this point. There we go. <laughs> we'll just make the skirt flowy to make it, to trick people to think there's something going on. Perceived motion, hmm? We can also use the white of the paper. I think I'll let myself have that freebie. All right, so let's erase first so that the Sharpies don't blend with the graphite. Go with my darkest ultra fine. Do the line on the eyes so I don't lose that. That's gonna get lost if I'm not careful. Now I don't really want line art, so I'm not gonna outline everything. So maybe go with the less saturated one and we can maybe blend into the saturated one for cheeks. That's gonna be my attempt here. <laughs> These big fun ears. Oh, perfect. Now I think I'm gonna use that line art color for her hair. We can actually use, since this one also has an ultra fine, we can use that for a little bit of a Hair flyaways. Oh, that really adds a little something, doesn't it? Now we're at the actual outfit and I have to decide on some colors that won't clash or blend in. We don't want either of those. I think we're gonna have to leave the undershirt white to just separate the colors and then give the corset some actual color. Super saturated wowzers. Now I do not wanna leave that other stuff white. <laughs> I could add stripes or something, just like a pattern to keep it different from the rest of the skin. Grab that more saturated tone that I was using for our accents on the skin and go ahead and, ooh, we could do polka dots or stripes. Stripes is more common, so let's go with stripes for now. I think when it comes to like normalizing an outfit like this, for me, would be minimizing the lace. I'm not really a lacy person, <laughs> but it is a princessy thing. Maybe the princess seam. So maybe for the skirt, just continue the color of her stays. Corset thing, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> Whatever, just like a little pouch. So I think I'm gonna continue that fluorescent pink all the way down. Now the problem with this one marker is it's not really the same formula because it's meant to draw on clothes. So it does create a bit of streaks, but 
It is also fluorescent, so which trade-offs. <laughs> Add a little bit of embroidery and <laughs> random designs at the bottom of this. Squiggles, basically. I think in future I'm gonna try not to rely so much on the fabric markers because they're obviously not for paper, but I really like the other areas, the way the Sharpie looks. It's just a fun texture and I wish I could implement it more into my art. So I'm gonna take full advantage of it while I've got it here. <laughs> Move on to our next color, which I guess I'll mix orange and yellow together. I'm glad I'm including orange because I don't think there'd be any contrast without it. At this time I want to pull a little bit more away from the princess, maybe go a little bit more modern so we might shrink the skirt if need be. Also, orange just makes me think of pixie cuts, so we're going pixie. Okay, let's just draw the character so I can throw the clothes on. It's the only reason I draw people is to draw the clothes. I definitely don't think I like how much this does look like a Disney princess already. One of the things is probably the color, but the other thing is I really did take a lot of inspiration from it with like the stripes and the top and everything and the lace. So let's try to pull away from that just a smid and maybe modernize it a little more. Something I'm seeing a lot of in style lately is like laces on the top that tie. And that seems princessy to me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's do straight across tank top situation. Crop it right at the small of the waist. So I think that's what looks most flattering on me. And then we'll grab like a skirt. Actually, they make shorts that are very similar to skirts. I actually have a pair. So maybe we'll do that. So they kind of just look like shorts, but they also look like skirts. And it's hard to tell which one they are. And then some, they usually have hidden pockets in there. Okay, I basically own this outfit already. Let me try and... <laughs> <laughs> not in yellow though. That does not look, work really with my skin tone. <laughs> pull this up so I can pull the shorts even higher. And I think we'll keep the lace up because I like that with the princess seams. And then maybe continue with the, with the embroidery at the bottom. Um, and I think I'll just give her sneakers. I feel like I could add color to this one. I don't know what else I would change. So maybe these laces will be a different color than this. Basically this will be a strapless corset with like extra laces on top, which will make it look a little bit more like underwear I feel like, but oh well. The sacrifices we make. I feel like she needs some kind of apron, but that'll hide the fact that they're shorts. So we'll just save that for another one. Let's just lightly erase that. Okay, so since we have a lot of light colors and only one darker tone, I think I'll try to use that for the skin tone. Then we can be really bright with the clothes, maybe? Mm hmm. You know, trying something different this time. Might not work. That's what happens when you experiment. Feels really familiar for some reason. <laughs> have I done this before? Okay, the light colored line art doesn't quite pull it off, I don't think. I've been picturing really light co pastel colors for the outfit the whole time, so I'll go in and do that. So that leaves us with this and this, I think. Try yellow first, because I feel like I can go over this if I don't like it. <gasps> Ooh, what if we color it sectional? Is that interesting? Mm. I think that makes it look a little bit more modern. i would use this for these. <laughs> I like it. You could probably use that color for the shorts. I don't think anything needs to be a different color there, so just color that all in. Ooh, I like it so far. Feels right. It just feels right. Now we haven't used this color at all. It's this sort of like peach. I wonder if I can use that for shading like this. Makes it look more like shorts, I guess. Because it is supposed to be. I feel like it needs some pattern. I guess for areas that are white, it needs line art. <laughs> what if I put like polka dots that are more, that get more scattered as it gets to the top? I like the alpha, but I don't love the drawing as much. I have almost this exact same outfit, just a less princessified, <laughs> but it is very modern and, and something I would totally wear, you know, in a different color. <laughs> Move on to green. Oh, there's a couple of yellows in here. We'll make do, we'll figure it out. These are all more pastel than I anticipated. Hmm, interesting. Let's try some different shapes, maybe even for this, because so far they've always been flat on the bottom. Gonna need a body again. Ears, neck. 
got a body. And now for the design. For this one, I know the stays is like my favorite part. Why don't we go with like a pointy one with actual sleeves? And then we can add some laces. I might actually go with more of a buttons. We'll see. Let's go with a longer skirt again. I'm a little bit more Hobbit themed. <laughs> and since it's longer, we can gather it a bit more without having to worry about any accidents. Wardrobe malfunctions. Let's go with like a three quarter length sleeve on this guy. We could also just do like a normal t-shirt underneath. And let's bring the skirt to the knee. And for hair, let's go with headband and a messy bun. <laughs> My usual state. Ooh, this isn't blue, but I kind of like picture maybe something to make it look a little bit more modern would be to make a little corset thing um, denim. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I wanted to try buttons. I think buttons will pull a little bit further away or even a zipper. Interesting idea. I don't know. I'm so torn about what I want it to look like. Like, what would I be willing to wear out of the house? Like, I want it to be fun, adventurous, and feminine, but I also don't want it to look like a costume. And I'm thinking the dip in the vest is really pulling it too close to costume. So by modernizing it a bit and making it flat on the bottom, I like it a little bit better. We could even continue the buttons down this skirt. Ooh, could probably throw in like one of those patchwork pockets. There we go. I think I did a good job of modernizing it. It doesn't look very costumey anymore, especially if we give her, what kind of shoes would I wear with this? Probably just white flats, white sort of sneakers. Redraw it from scratch, all the limbs and everything else that goes with that. Okay. And get the outfit on there. Let's just add a regular t-shirt underneath. And buttons, princess seams. Maybe that shirt pokes out through the bottom. Actually, I wanted that skirt a little shorter. So the problem here is if this is a crop and this is high-waisted and there's a little gap there, that t-shirt would be showing through. So I would picture it kind of buckling out a bit. So I'm going to draw that. Why not? This one ended up being more me than any of the other ones. Let's go ahead and throw some color on that. Just realized how much white space is at the bottom of this. Oh, it's better than hanging off the edge of the page, I suppose. Use the darkest color here for some long and art. No 40 colors. I think I'm gonna try, if this is supposed to be me, I need the lightest color for my skin. Some reason on camera, my skin looks way darker than it is. I think it's just the white background. So don't be fooled. When I go out in the sun, people need sunglasses. I'm Alphaba. <laughs> Thinking yellow for the shirt. Well, I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> I just started. Oh, well, well, well. Keep that space filled. Try yellow for the hair. I'm gonna try layering it with that really light green that I used for the skin to just make it less yellow. <laughs> as simple as that. Now I think I want kind of like this. I want this and this to match. So I'm thinking one of the darker greens. Maybe start with this green and then add the darker colors over top. Maybe leave the pockets this color. We'll see. We'll see. Leave white space and blend it out with one of the other greens. That'll just look better overall. Yeah, I definitely need some more contrast here. I'm kind of liking the idea of like a contrasting color for this button flap. But I'm scared. Well, why don't I try it? Because I'm thinking about coloring the whole skirt in with one of these darker colors. So let's try it with a contrast color first. See if I end up just leaving it that way. I find not coloring small areas so difficult. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that didn't quite work. So I'm gonna color these pockets in as well. Actually, I might leave those. I think I do wanna go over the yellow with this light green too. Just looking at it, I don't think I would wear something with that contrasting color segment. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and color over the whole thing just so it's a little closer to something I would wear. Now do I want to keep the contrasting pocket? Probably not. <laughs> it's cute, but it's not my style. I'll leave a little seam there just so you know there's just pocket. And then I guess I'll go with dark shoes. I'd probably wear my white shoes, like I mentioned earlier, but 
think it would look better with like a green shoe. And again, since I used the light color for the skin, I feel like it just needs line art because it's blending in too much with the page. So I'll just grab a random one. Just kind of outline it. I like all of them better as sketches. <laughs> what a curse. All right, I guess I'm gonna turn the page. I've run out of room. I think I'll save this page for some... Well, wait, we're gonna be drawing in pencil. <laughs> What's the next color? Blue! I love blue. blue colors. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of any of these colors. So maybe that one. I like that one. Now, for this one, I'm gonna take a little bit more inspiration from history and uh, not let the stays be showing. We're gonna give her an actual shirt. Okay, so from here, we gotta decide on the outfit. And I kind of mentioned what I want to do. I'm thinking basically just a dress for this one, right at the knee where I like it. And then we'll keep, you know how there's like the princess seams and the buttons, we'll keep that. And obviously we want that same sort of silhouette. There's also a style where these sleeves kind of come out a little bit further. It's a bit of a 60s kind of vibe. It's called like a boat neck, but I don't know what the sleeves. It might be cap sleeves on a boat neck for all I know. <laughs> Let's give her like a more modern purse. Three quarter length sleeves. Now it's losing some princess vibe. The style of the dress. Let me try adding some more princessy elements like maybe lace. Or wait, last time we did buttons. Let's try adding the lace up top back in. And then lace at the bottom of this. To give her some nice long flowy hair. Although you're not gonna see it because she's standing straight on. <laughs> Remove some of those tangents. How do I make this a bit more princessy? Like as it is right now, it's totally something I would wear. But for the purposes of today's drawing session, I want it to be a bit more princessy. <laughs> Should we go with a gathered skirt? Oh, I could continue the princess seams, just like that first design. That actually makes a huge difference. Oh my gosh. I also think I want to pull these, this seam further down. I actually really like this design. Ooh, let me draw it again. Although I should have drawn it over there so I could add color. Um, I think I changed my mind about the sleeves though. We could add a little poof on them though. I don't usually like too much poof on my shoulders. It makes my shoulders look more broad than I would like, but in art, it looks good on everyone. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Probably just my uh, inability to draw anything anatomically correct, but <laughs> who wants to do that? Ooh, we can give her little adventure boots. But also lace up. Ooh, fun. All the outfits I've kind of done so far were more summery, so the boots didn't quite suit it. Oh, I want to add color to that one. I really like it. Although maybe it's best because maybe I would ruin it. <laughs> and I like short skirts as much as the next person. But knees, I don't know, they just don't look good in photos. They're they're kind of gross, okay? <laughs> so if I can hide that, let's go for it. Okay, now we gotta add color though, that was the whole point, right? So let me just try, I'm actually gonna try and just immediately, I'm just gonna try and exactly repeat this sketch. I don't know if that's possible, but it's probably a good lesson to learn anyway, so let's practice that. We have the head looking up. Um, get her hips kind of went this way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not quite working. Keep trying, keep trying, don't give up. <laughs> How's it going? I'm getting there. Copying things is not my specialty. Okay, let's add some color then. Ah, die, sketch. <laughs> well, the dress is probably gonna be all one color. This shouldn't be too difficult. Wait, let's start with some line art for the face so we don't lose it. I didn't need to do line art on the chin. What am I doing? Let's do the hair next. What color should be the hair? I don't have this in a fine point, only ultra fine. I could do this like light color. Color that over so I don't lose it. That's supposed to be a different color. So it blends more into the background. And then I guess this could be the skin tone. Oh, this is a very good blueberry color. This really would have been good color for the dress now that I'm looking at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. Shoot, shoot, shoot. They're supposed to be three quarter length sleeves. And I just colored in the skin. Get back over that with that purpley blue. So this is the only blue left. 
So I guess I have to use it for the dress, but I kind of wanted a more pastel color for the dress. Let's use this for the boots then. See what I can get away with. I don't know if I can get away with that being the dress. It doesn't, it doesn't leave any room for like patterns. Oh, we can use this for purse. Here we go. Well, this probably creates more problems for me than it solves. Headband. I think what I'm gonna do is just take that color I did for the back of the hair. So it's layering that purpley blue with the greeny blue. Cause I think I can rather make the dress that purple color. It's crazy these are all blue cause they don't really look blue next to each other. Oh, this is the purpley blue. Yeah, I haven't used that on the skin, have I? Interesting. This would be really cute with just like a fun hand-drawn sort of pattern with some kind of theme. Not sure what that would be. You know, like flowers or frogs or something. It's blue, so maybe like rainstorms and petals and poodles. <gasps> Puddles and poodles. Ooh. I had to add in the laces. Let's add some kind of pattern. Um, maybe if it's just, maybe some like contrasting seams. How's that looking? Is it bringing more blue into the design? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Cause this purp, the, uh, this light blue I use is just quite purple. Does it look like flowers or cheetah print? Be honest. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. There you go. That kind of is more up my alley of what I was thinking it would look like. All right, what's next? Purple, 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 purple. Only a few colors here. Maybe this one will take so long. <laughs> hmm. So if we keep those same kind of silhouettes that I like, I'm very, Simple. <laughs> oh shoot, I'm going summer again. I can't help it. It's summer. I'm thinking about summer. I see the back of it being very shirred. I think there'd be a lot of shirring. S-H-I-R-R-I-N-G. Shirring. Because <laughs> like that just feels princessy to me. Like casual princess. So maybe add like a panel here that's shirred. Is that even possible? And then here, I want the laces. So maybe cut out the shirring. I don't know. A real seamstress could tell me what's possible. <laughs> So let's crop this a little bit more. We'll go back to the croppy tops. And if I don't feel like wearing a crop top, I can probably just pull up the skirts a little higher, depending on the occasion. This one, I think I'm gonna add one. Ooh, you know what would be kind of cute? What if I add lacing on the side? Is this actually all that different from anything else? I don't even know. What if there's one that like actually is like a turtleneck? I guess I was gonna do it like turtlenecky. I might move the lacing to the side. This is a bit more of like the dragon rider princess. <laughs> Cause like this panel and this panel could be separate. So basically you can lace it up and down as far as you want. And then if you're like riding a dragon, you lace it up to about here so that these areas, you can like stick your legs out through them and ride. Gotta give her a big ponytail. <laughs> more adventure boots for this one. What would it look like short too? Is there a short version I could do? It doesn't require that much effort to make it short. You just cut it, right? Then maybe this one's made out of a more like leathery painted fabric. So it's shiny. All right, time for some color. I forgot this one was purple. Now I'm double excited. All my characters have been looking up and to the right. <laughs> I just realized. Oh shoot, I did it again. I drew the chin. This is kind of competing. But it's the only option. Actually, I could have used this purple, which is actually, looks blue. Okay, hope oh, this is an arm. Guess I'll leave this maybe for the hair. Oh yeah, nice contrast there. Love it. I can blend that in with that other color. Fill in the gaps. I'm gonna use this one for flyaways. Now for this section, I think I am gonna reach into my blue and grab those two. Yeah, look at that. They they fit with this. <laughs> Although it is very similar to this color. Oh shoot, that's really blending in, isn't it? Well shoot, I guess we're going in with the dark color. Oh, that's nice and purpley. I like this. Now how do I make that look more shiny? Let me go over it with this. Look shinier. <laughs> Let's kind of do that same thing for this skirt too. So we'll do that same thing. I really liked this color purple. That's further down in case it wanted to be laced up more. Okay, and then let's add that other color on top and make it look a little shinier. Ta 
glitter. And for the sh boots, the sh boots, we can do the same hair color again, maybe. Do I have another? I guess this is the only good liner D color I got. Try that stained marker. <laughs> These colors definitely blend in a lot too. I could do, I could grab this dark purple and color in the top. I think I wanna do the same thing on this under section. Actually, maybe the outer section. This will be look like they're different fabrics. Yeah, I like it better now. There's a little bit more contrast in there. <laughs> Keep drawing that one foot almost forward, one foot to the side, one foot forward, one foot to the side. And those are all both to the side. Never mind. That's it for the purples. Which leaves the final category. Neutrals. I have no idea how I'm going to use these together. Let's go with like a more dark arts, mysterious magic princess with like a hood or something. So now we're kind of going away from what I would wear. <laughs> is this kind of, when I drew this, this has made me kind of think of something more this style. So like no sleeves, but with a hood. Okay. So far I like this sketch, I don't know. There's not much to the outfit, but the uh, sketch is looking nice. Mm, I'm gonna go that way with the arms. Could do the under boob. Why not? This one's not my style anyway. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the usual. Okay, okay. I think I need to move the head down, but I really like the way it looks. So say goodbye. All right. <laughs> So they just move it there. Okay, added in our lace. Drawing it in this less flattering pose is tricky for me. The hood is difficult. The hood is throwing me off. I cannot find a reference in this angle, so. This is why I usually design my outfits in this pose. Oh well, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I guess I'll use black for like the face too. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Oh well, <laughs> keep going. Um, just color this whole thing in black. And then I guess I'll give her a silver corset. Um, can I give up? <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not having fun with this at all. <laughs> like it never happened. There we go. <laughs> Let's just leave it at this, maybe. Second time's a charm. Now do I wanna to try to add color again? It's on a sticky note, so I gotta be a little careful. Let's do it. Oh shoot, what did I say? I'm not being careful. Darker brown for the inside of the hood. Black for the corset. Stuff, what's it, line art? It's like Jedi and Sith mixed together with this color scheme. Yeah, I don't. This was just a bit of a miss. But now I have something that I can look at without feeling nauseous. That's an upgrade. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Ended that one on a high note. So here we have my little Sharpie princesses. I actually used every single Sharpie, that's funny. You have the pinks, the orange and yellows, the greens, the blues, the purples, and then the neutrals or whatever. I think I really like the blue with the florals. I like this one because it's a little bit different. This was really fun. I think what I learned from this is that I really like drawing with pencil. <laughs> and I really like the way sharkies, sharkies, sharpies look when they're dry. I like the texture that they give off. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming along with me on my little princess design session. <laughs> Let me know if you would wear any of these outfits. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.